Good morning, my neighbors, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about code orthogonality. What is code orthogonality? Well, you get to know. Yeah, so reading the book, The Pragmatic Programmer, the authors talked about orthogonality in systems, and in the computer world, orthogonality in systems is a design pattern where components try to be independent of each other. Yeah, so what do I mean by this? I mean that changes in the different components don't affect the behavior or functionality of a different component. And you might be familiar with this concept using other terms such as modular or component-based architecture. So the DRY principle is key and the DRY principle stands for don't repeat yourself. And any method that you can implement to prevent duplication of code in your code base should be adhered to, be it the creation of functions to encapsulate the code needed to perform a specific uh, action or setting constants as a global variable that can be imported in other parts of your code base for reuse. So when writing out your code, you need to analyze the goal or the product you have in mind in terms of plug and play components. Now, I'm not saying that a code base can be totally orthogonal, since orthogonality is not a binary classification, but something you can identify within a range. For instance, you can say that a particular code base is more orthogonal than another code base. So let me outline some of the reasons why you should implement orthogonality when building out your product or creating writing codes for your app. So, easy integration testing. So, if your system was designed to be orthogonal, then during after a successful unit testing, you're more confident that doing integration testing, all the components are more likely to function properly. And if they don't function properly, you're more likely to discover the problem from one part than seeing the problem spread across other components. So, the next one is reuse. Orthogonal systems allows for easy reuse of components in different parts of a system without worrying, worrying about dependence. Another one is productivity. So teams that tend to work with an orthogonal system are more likely to be productive because they know actually what to do and they tend to focus the energy in building out just a single component. Mm -hmm. And the last one is risk reduction. So orthogonal systems help reduce total application failure or inaccessibility of systems. And what I mean by this is that since real services tend to work independently of each other, a failure or downtime in a particular service or components won't necessarily affect the entire system. So thanks guys. And before you leave, please do leave a like and subscribe and also share the video too if you find it meaningful. Thanks.